The recent images from Rafa are yet another horrifying depiction of Israel's ongoing war on Gaza. Refugee camps on fire and people trapped inside burning tents in what Israel had defined as safe zones. Behind these images are Gaza's journalists. For eight months, they have been present to document Israel's countless attacks as Israel has consistently barred foreign journalists from entering. Their work keeps us all informed and keeps the war on the daily news agenda. But as Gaza's journalists are on the ground covering events, they are simultaneously performing another crucial task. They are documenting potential war crimes. What we are seeing, like in the case of the recent request for arrest of warrants by the International Criminal Court, is that photo and video material from Gaza is being used as part of the evidence that informs the decisions of the court. This means that the work of Gaza's journalists could serve as crucial evidence in legal investigations into whether war crimes and crimes against humanity have been committed. My point is this. Journalists play a vital role in the accountability mechanism. We need to uphold international law and human rights. But remember, these people have been working non-stop for eight months. They've been displaced again and again. Like all civilians, they lack food, water and shelter. They've been killed in record numbers and they are losing children, partners, parents and other loved ones. Still, they keep going and they continue to bear the responsibility of two incredibly important tasks. To keep us all informed in the present and to secure documentation that can bring about justice in the future.